Um, I'm Jordan Rousseau, and oh yeah, according to all known laws of aviation. Awesome. And this is my poem called A Squaw Success. Success was merely a fever dream to my father. The rotten addiction blood flows through our veins, holding no restraints to the possibility of surviving past adulthood. Showing how it's true, how one drink becomes two, then three, then four, never to be set free from the grasp of the force that seems to enforce native blood, intruding into the livelihood of my family's life, the addiction that pushes me to the ledge of my mind. Yet the definition of success can't be reached, my identity being stretched, and the structure of my life being threshed, when my dreams are etched sketched on a board, my childhood being stored there. Growing up, my success relied on the scores I got in going to the reservation to help those in need, going up to fit right into the typical American seed. I overthink to the brim of the mason jar, and it breaks apart, starting to fall far from the top of my tongue. All I hear is a silence until my words shatter at the bottom. The realization hits, my success isn't determined by my creative energy or the way I convey my emotions so naturally. Instead of determined by the scores, I get on a test. If I don't pass the test, college is merely a story to me, like it was for my father. Why well, try so hard to keep my emotions in lock and key when the reality is that my mental sanity doesn't matter? The only thing the school seems to care about is the way I can stand in class and recite the Pledge of Allegiance while the substitute teacher tries to make sense of why I refuse to stand and recite these lies as I stand and I cry. How is America full of freedom for all when they push my people onto reservations? Americans just can't stand sharing land with squaws. I walk on the cliff of my words and I tilt my foot over the open air, questioning all the choices that led me there. The little voice in my head leading me to this rickety bridge and scared the fears will slip from the tip of my tongue, I return my foot to the ground. I walked this bridge, broken down and unsteady holes in every piece of its wood, so where does that leave me? I'm digging my own grave, trying to obtain the straight-A student look to create a happy ending to my creation. The cliff under me, the idea of failing or falling, like my mind is free to set sail and hear my thoughts echo a wail from the abyss below. But fever dreams are in my blood, and the shovel is in my hand, and yet I never know if I'm going to make it out as a miracle or a mess, a squaw's useless success, or a miracle considered one of the best.